just snoots. Snooter don't care what you tip your waiter. Snooter don't care that you're a player hater. No, he just snoots. Snooter don't care what you think about him. Snooter don't care that you sometimes doubt him. Snoots and snoots and snoots. <laughs> this is the first mow of the season. I just broke the lawnmower by hitting a stump that I didn't see in the grass. I can't have this happening all year again, like last year. Yeah, I hit a tree stump. So I bent a few things and the belt came off. The the drive belt for the uh, for the blades, but I think I got it. I've been thinking we should add a little uh, modification to this thing to make yard work a little easier. Okay, so I was thinking about making a little holster for this, for the lawn tractor, and I may still do that, but I think it would be easier if we had a full size ax instead. So I think I'm gonna focus on making a holder slash holster for this thing here. That'll be the first modification. Mm -hmm. 
Freaking dope. This is going to work out really good. I got room for the big axe and for the uh, little axe. And they should stay in there quite nicely. They'll jumble around a little bit, but I wanted them to be easy to take out and put in uh, with a, a single movement without unlatching a bunch of things to get to them. I like it. Okay, now that that's done, I have another modification I'd like to make, and that's with this seat. The vinyl has ripped a little bit and uh, after it rains, uh, water spleaches out of this little crack here and gets all over my leg. <laughs> now I realize that spleech isn't a real word, but I think you know what I'm talking about when I say it. It is very frustrating. So what I've thought about doing, since that seat doesn't offer much for comfort 
Anyway, we may as well replace the lawn tractor seat with an actual tractor seat. And I have one around here somewhere that I picked up a long time ago. Right here. I think this will work perfect. It just needs a little coat of yellow. Okay, now while that's drying, I'm gonna make room for it by taking off the original seat. Oh my gosh, that is tight. Okay, the hole that comes in the new seat is a lot bigger than the bolt is from the old seat. Now the thing is, is that I have destroyed the bolt for this seat. Uh, I was trying to take it off and it just rotated on me because of the galvanization or whatever. So rotating wasn't gonna take it off. So I actually ended up cutting it off. And then that worked really good because <laughs> it can't be in the way if it's cut in half. So now I'll have to find a new bolt to replace it in my pile of bolts here. We want it to be a piece kind of like this so it's not uncomfortable, you know, jabbing into your butt. Uh, so we want to find a piece that has an end like this. This piece, this would be good, except for it has some welding slag on it, so, oh, look at that. Here we go, this one will work. Now we just have to find a nut for it. I got all these nuts. Oh, first try. Got all these nuts laid out here, because I was working on some other artwork projects. Yeah, this will work, this will work. Okay. Okay, now I think I'm gonna have an issue with the bolt actually, yeah, fitting through the factory slot. So I'm gonna have to drill it out. Uh, how far back do I want this to be? As far back as it goes, I can always adjust it if I don't like it. I can just take the seat, it's not quite dry yet, so I don't wanna sit on it. Something like that. Now I just gotta drill it out. I have a feeling this is not gonna be easy to drill out. Freaking dope. Okay, let's see. Oh, it might be too long. Oh, no, it's not too long. But if I had to go the other way, that definitely wouldn't be family friendly. But there's actually lots of room under there. It just got stuck. But if I can get it up, I can get it down. Just gotta jiggle and wiggle. There we go. Plenty of room between that and the battery. Even if it springs down, yeah, I like that. Now I just gotta put on the nut. 
There we go. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't it suck when you realize that you should have used a washer after you've threaded on something that freaking far? And righty tidy. Done. I am so glad that I got this tractor seat from wherever I got it from. I don't remember. I've had it for years. Uh, never was able to find a project for it and I'm super glad because it's perfect on here. It looks pretty dope. The only thing that sucks is it's definitely not dry yet so I can't sit on it yet. So I think in the meantime we'll work on the next modification. If I needed to do an edit there, that would have been perfect, but I don't. <laughs> I decided to get this thing here because I need something other than my pocket to hold my phone when I'm on the lawnmower. Okay, so here's what happened. While I was mowing the lawn, somehow the pocket gnomes uh, sent out multiple video chat requests to the people who follow my social media handles and uh i'm not sure how that happened but probably people were very confused why they were just hearing <laughs> because uh i had no idea i was calling anyone now i've mowed my grass twice this year now second time somehow I pocket invited a bunch of people to follow the uh, the uh, podcast that I was listening to whilst mowing the lawn this thing is going to help <laughs> with that type of issue so if you're one of the people who received a message or uh, a video chat request I'm sorry it won't happen again but speaking of messages it's about what time is it it's 10 o'clock p.m. on the dot right now. I just got a message on my way home. Uh, Ashley has supper for me and I haven't eaten yet today. So I'm going to install this tomorrow. Bam, there we go. Works perfect. I can even put it sideways if I want to watch something while I mow. Probably won't do that, but the option is there. It's kind of awesome. Now I was going to put it here, which is why there's a hole there, but... I wasn't able to turn the steering wheel with uh, what I had bought attached to it. So that's kind of a bummer. So uh, the second go, figuring out where it was, I made sure that it actually uh, didn't hinder the operation of anything else. So decided to put it here on the side ultimately, which was pretty simple. Basically just drill a hole, then uh, stick a bolt through and then thread on a nut to hold it in place, then put in a spacer, and then a little bit of uh, electrical tape so that the clamp could fit on, and then after a few adjustments, it uh, turned out that this actually works great because I can open the hood and it doesn't hit the ax handle, and uh, it seems to fit nicely with the steering wheel and hand operation. I dig it. Now the color uh, is a little off because I don't know if they sell John Deere green at the uh, hardware store, but close enough for what I'm doing. I mean, the tractor is not exactly in pristine condition. It's a little rusty, so having a little mismatched paint is not the end of the world for me. Um, and speaking of <laughs> mismatched paint, uh, as I was trying to figure out where I would put on the other modification I had planned, which was placement for a water bottle, um, <laughs> I had sat in the seat a little too early. Um, 
since I wasn't worrying too much about how I painted this, I put it on a little heavy and this morning it was still a little tacky. So I got a little bit on my butt somewhere there and uh, kind of ruined the paint on the seat a little bit, but that's okay. But since I didn't want to ruin the seat anymore, uh, finding a place for the water bottle Ultimately, I like hovered above it trying to figure out where I wanted to put a water bottle and Turns out that this water bottle is probably too big for this because this is just for a regular size I thought this would be fine, but probably with the uh, Vibration it will eventually fall out of there, but we'll see For now, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wipe down First, I'm going to pour some water in that. Got some dried out wipe sheets, whatever these are called. If you put water in these, you can replenish them, you can revive them. There we go, that's better. Ah, oh, bird crap. Just perfect. The birds heard I was painting this thing and they came and gave me a little hand. <laughs> Got a new one so I don't wipe crap all over the place. It's like, yeah, I shined it up nice for you. There was some bird crap in the beginning and I didn't have another rag, so, you know, don't go licking nothing. It gets, it gets some vanilla poisoning. There we go. One container of... <laughs> Boom, baby! <laughs> what are the chances? That's so freaking awesome. And that was an accident, but I'm going to take credit for it. Uh, <laughs> what I was going to say, now that it's shined up, I think it's ready for its first tractor show. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a real thing, but if it is... I'm just kidding because uh, obviously, you know, it's not the prettiest thing on the block, but I think with these modifications, I'm going to enjoy doing the lawn a little, a little more. Now, there are a few other things that I would like to do. So we got the tractor seat. Yeah, that's dry. And I love the tractor seat, but now imagine a big old tractor stack. That would be so awesome uh but there's a couple reasons why it's probably not going to work and they both have to do with heat now this is an old machine but it's not so old that the whole thing is made out of metal the hood here is plastic so having an exhaust this close is probably not gonna do any goodwill towards the plastic here so i will have to put in a heat shield which will block the uh, ventilation vent thingy here. <laughs> that didn't make sense. <laughs> It'll block the uh, the ventilation uh, vents. That's redundant. It's going to block these holes here that are used for ventilation. And that's not the biggest deal because I'm not sure how important those are. The thing that sucks the most is these tires being so close. The exhaust comes out here, so this is going to have to come out here. And with the heat shield, it's probably going to be about this far away from the plastic. And now if I turn my wheels all the way to the left, it doesn't leave very much room without causing detriment to the rubber when uh, the exhaust gets hot. Now this is just an old bed rail from my old truck that I'm using to mock this up. But I was thinking since it's already chrome, Though I don't know how appropriate it is to use this pipe here and probably the chrome will burn off. But this is what I was actually thinking of using for the exhaust. I just need to bend it, probably put in a reducer to make it work. I don't know, probably have to do some modifications. So this gives me a very good idea of how I would place this. And yeah, it's as far as I can tell, it's not going to work. Beyond that, even if I did find a way to properly route this so that I wouldn't uh, worry about uh, melting or burning or anything, I'm still gonna have to figure out a way to 
uh, attach it to the machine here. If I attach it to the hood here, I won't be able to open it, and that seems like the most obvious way to do it. I could weld something to the metal part of the frame here. I don't. I don't really know exactly what I can do. It, it's. It kind of. It kind of sucks because this was like the. This is the whole reason why I made this video. Why I started making this video. Well, kind of. That's the reason. But then I was like, you know what? That would give me an excuse to also do this because I've had this idea for longer than I've had that idea. Ah, man. And I even got one of these things. I thought that would be, I thought that would be awesome. But unless I can figure out a way to reroute the exhaust so that it doesn't hinder the operation of the hood or cause damage that's not worth continually paying for anywhere else, I think we're gonna have to hold off on that mod there. And that's okay. Another mod that we're not going to uh, uh, do that I had thought would be kind of interesting is get an old school tractor steering wheel with the suicide knob. But all of the ones that I found that were John Deere, none of them were wood and I really want a wood one. And uh, all the ones that were wood were way too big for this to work out. And I can't really move this out further because when I open it up, I'm gonna have to move the ax and I don't really wanna do that. That's annoying. This. This is way easier. Oh well, maybe in time I will find the perfect steering wheel to replace this one, but in the meantime, I'll just keep this plastic one. It's a little too small to put on a suicide knob for it to be comfortable. I figure that will probably be a little more annoying. This, I could get one of those suction cup ones to hold this and then get a bigger steering wheel, but I'm not willing to do that because I like this and I don't want to have a whole bunch of holes in my ship here. Stop blowing holes in my ship! I think all of these mods are good. I'll probably have to adjust some stuff like with the, uh, the water bottle holder thing here. But we'll see how it works. And we know that we're not doing that anymore. It's a huge bummer, but that's okay. Maybe I'll get another lawn tractor where I will be able to do that in time. But for now, I dig this. Before, it was just plain Jane, and now it has a little more sex appeal. At least I think so. And all of the modifications I did, to me, look as though you could have gotten it stock at the store this way, uh, which is kind of half the point here. I didn't want it to look out of place. But now that it's done, I think it's time to do the third mow of the season now. Let's see how it works.
dang, this seat is way more comfortable than that other piece of junk. And best of all, no chance of spleaching because it's made out of metal. And if it does get rained on, all I gotta do is dump it off. In fact, I can even store it like this. This is awesome. Also, the water bottle stayed in nice and snug, even though it's an oversized water bottle. So I think that's a win. I could even modify this with like a zip tie or something if it kept coming out too much. And this thing over here worked like an absolute dream. That, yeah, all the hills and I don't have very many hills, but all the lumps and bumps and stumps that I hit, this hardly moved at all. I think my only concern really is when it rains. I did put a couple strategic drain holes, but I think when we're expecting rain, I will probably remove these so that it doesn't rust the heads. I'm not too concerned about these because these are my crappier axes. Like this one's got a lot of uh, chips and nicks in the blade. It's not called a blade, is it, on an ax? <laughs> whatever the case, whatever it's called, this one is one of my worst ones. Um, this one's made in Sweden. I'm not sure if that's good or not, uh, although I can confirm it's a pretty decent ax. Uh, it went through those trees no problem, but I did pick it for this project because it's one of my uh, junkier ones and I, uh, I got it for free in someone's junk pile some time ago somewhere else i don't even remember where i got it from but i picked it because it's junky but i do want to preserve that edge a little better than uh just letting it go metal on metal so i'll probably also put a uh, a bumper in there because i don't want it to get ruined it is an old axe and oftentimes old equals good especially with uh tools like this so I'll do that because all the vibration uh, can't be good with the metal on metal. So put a bumper in there. And speaking of vibration, this thing right here held like a dream. It hardly moved at all. I could watch a movie on this, this thing. It held perfect. I could just imagine just sitting on here and just watching like Rick and Morty or something. I'd probably do a terrible job on the lawn, but it would be entertaining. Maybe I'll try that one day. But yeah, this thing worked perfect. All in all, really happy with this. I did notice that I damaged the seat a little more. Which is not a big deal. There's just some wrinkling in the paint and my jeans uh, had a little uh, domestic dispute with it. But that's okay because all of that now matches the uh, the rashing on the uh, on the mower deck, so I'm not too worried about it. The wrinkling is from uh, it uh, not curing before use, and probably the sun wasn't too friendly with it. I should have let it cure in the shade. I think that probably would have helped out a lot. What? Oh well, this is uh, not a client job. Although if it was, I wouldn't use a rattle can to paint this. I would probably have it. Uh, powder coated when something's job involves wear and tear and getting sit on and wearing work clothes and having tools around it a rattle can is probably not the best job uh, another thing I probably wouldn't do is uh, use a, a bike water bottle thing I'd probably fabricate something a little more appropriate and something that looks more like it belonged but this is quick and dirty. This is kind of like a, a prototype, if you will. And uh, perhaps I will keep modifying this as I come up with more ideas. And then I will use this build as an inspiration for when I do a bigger, uh, fuller project, if you will. One where I can put in the big smokestack. That would be super cool. Kind of a good thing that I wasn't able to do that because I got trees like this and this and that to mow under and that would have been actually way too tall and i don't want it to be you know lower down because i don't want the smoke going in my face right imagine if it was only this tall as tall as the axe that would be going directly into my face like if i was here and that was the smokestack yeah that would blow right into my face and i've had carbon monoxide poisoning twice and i do not plan to have that ever again it sucks. Actually, the poisoning itself is fine. In fact, it's actually kind of great. 
it, <laughs> it's the recovery that I don't want to go through again. That is awful. So, yeah, no smokestacks here. Smokestacks high or low, but that'll be on another machine. But I think that's about all that I would like to do. Well, I would also like to do a different di shift knob, but this one is is fine. I, I was trying to think of things I could do here. I was thinking a deer, but the antlers would be pokey. I don't swing over this side, so it wouldn't be a problem with that. But you know, sometimes a tree pushes you over and you, you fall into stuff and I don't want anything to be, you know, uh, dangerous, let's say. So for now, I'm not sure what to do with this. Why don't you guys suggest what you would do for a shift knob here and maybe I'll do it. I think that would be kind of interesting to hear what you guys think. Okay, that's it. You can, then you can make it up. That's what we use in the garden. Between our oh, you little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I get the roar till the garden. I get it the rake too. <laughs> well, that's a neighbor. <laughs> do, you, do you see all the comments? Everyone thinks you're the best. Uh, I don't watch your comments. We always, Joan and I will always laugh when we watch it. Okay, yeah, you're doing that way better than me. I think you should just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs>